In order to create a relationally sound many-to-many -many relationship in FileMaker, a join table is required. There are tricks out there like multi-keys, but this will prevent you from creating reports properly. Let's first show you how to find this file. All you have to do is go to your web browser, go to the databasepros.com website, click the resources link, type in join, click the find button, and you'll see join table right there. I always tell people that relationships are the easiest and hardest thing to learn because they're hard to learn but once you get them you go oh that's not so bad they're pretty easy and the most difficult relationship type is the many-to-many -many relationship so what we have in here if we go into manage database in the table section is products invoices and customers let's pretend join isn't there right now this is often called your line items or lines and let's take just invoices and products because customers isn't involved in the many-to-many -many. so we just have invoices and products what you have to do is say you know you need invoices you need a record to represent each time somebody comes in and purchases something and you need products but we need to join them together to make things happen and you know that when you ask this question yourself if I'm looking at one record on an invoice how many products can it have on it? It can have one or more than one. In other words, it's many. And if you're looking at one product record, how many invoices can it be on? Well, you can sell those products multiple times so they can be on many invoices. That means you have a many-to-many -many relationship. And I ask myself this question often when I'm not sure about how two tables relate. But once I find out it's a many-to-many -many relationship, I need a join table and you put the join table in between products and invoices and it could be around this way it doesn't matter the way how it looks you could have customers over here invoices over here products over here it doesn't really matter the whole point is that joins in the middle and what you have here we'll zoom in a little bit you'll see that what we have is the primary key related to the foreign key and then again the primary key to the foreign key we have two one-to-many relationships you can see the single line and then the many here the single and then the many so the join table has two foreign keys in fact sometimes join tables only have two fields which would be two foreign keys that's their basic need you have to have at least two fields in a join table in order for it to work in FileMaker you usually have more but that's the basics that's the minimum requirements for that join table so what happens here if we take a look at our layout we'll see we're based on invoices and we're showing records from join we have fields from join here that's the product ID we have the name field which is from products price field which is from join not from products even though your price is stored in products we need to actually have it inside the join table and we'll talk about that a bit later same with quantity although we don't have a quantity usually in products you need to have the so you do need to have this inside your join table and then the extended price would be in the join table as well so let's take a look at how this works if I go and create a new window here and go into layout mode and choose my join table and then go back into browse mode we'll see that we have five records in here right I'm gonna to go to this record right here and add in something I'm gonna pop up the menu remember this is the product ID right I'm filling in the product ID in the join table I'm gonna choose something I don't have here let's say I don't have the super widget choose that put in a quantity of let's say five and come over here and we see that we have a new record what I entered in was product two you can see it right there and then we didn't enter in the invoice ID but FileMaker did that for us and that's a function of how a portal works so if we go into manage database and take a look at the relationship between invoices and join 
we'll notice we have allow creation of records in the table via this relationship. That gives us that blank row and it allows us to put in that invoice ID even though we're not entering it just knows that's a function of how the portal works so it puts that invoice ID in there to match this one so if I go into another record invoice number one I'll add in a thingamajigger now we get invoice number one in product three that's how it joins them together we now have a link from this value to this value and then a link from this value if we switch over to our products and look for that we have a link there so the join table connects everything together it's kind of the middleman of the whole organization allows them to talk to each other and the reason it allows you to get reporting is because of the way reporting works in a database not just FileMaker but any database so I like to use an analogy of marbles let's say you have a bag of marbles and you put them out on the table you could organize them by color red green blue yellow whatever put them in piles and then you could take those same marbles and organize them by size large medium small or by price or by any characteristic of that marble think of those marbles as records you can organize records very easily in FileMaker you can do a find on them and you can do a sort on them what you can't do is pull records apart very easily so it's better to have in most cases a lot of records that's why we want to have each one of these as a record and we want to have multiple records for each one of these items so in this, for instance if we go down through here and look we'll see there's a one a product two in fact uh, let's go back to the join table that's where I thought I was let's start that over so you can see product ID two a four there's another four so we have the same product in there twice three one Two, you see them repeating each other that's because we want one record for every time we sold that product that means we can count up the number of fours in what's called a sub summary report that means we can sum up all of these products by product so I can have you know super widget five hundred dollars that's what we sold in this month whatchamacallits we sold a thousand of those we can see a trend we can see thingamajiggers are selling really well we have two thousand dollars this month so it's it's about those marbles about how we organize them and let me show you an example because the idea behind this file was not to show you just what a join table is but show you how to print people often get confused how do I print a join table well here's the print layout okay what you have here is a layout based on the join table. When you're printing from multiple tables, this involves customers, invoices, products, and join, you need to make sure you go down to the lowest common denominator, the, the table with the most records. And before we go into this, let's take a look at why we put a price field inside here so you can better understand how it prints. So we're going to go to Manage Database and look at our join table and see we have a price field here and see that it's an auto enter calculation all it does is auto enters that product price there so why are we doing that well what we're doing is we're preserving that price at that moment in time it's a snapshot in time because your price may change but you don't want all the old invoices to update you want them to keep that value so that's why we're making a second copy of the price field and we're very importantly unchecking this option if you don't, it's only going to auto enter the first price. What if you choose the wrong product and then pop up the menu you get and choose the right product? Well, it's not going to overwrite unless you uncheck that option. So quantity is kind of the same idea, not really, but it has to, to be inside this join table because it has to do with that particular sale of that particular product you might sell two of the product today and three of the same product tomorrow they have different quantities so we have to store them differently on different records so going back to our printout we have a layout based on the join table with the lowest common denominator up in our sub summary by invoice ID in fact let's take an overview of everything We'll look at layout sorry not layout setup part setup is what I wanted to go to You'll see we have a sub summary by KF invoice ID, a body, and then another sub summary by KF invoice ID. So what's a sub summary? Well, a sub summary simply 
organize records into one. So let's say you had 10 items on an invoice. A sub summary is only going to show one e example or one instance of itself. So in other words, all this stuff in here only shows up once. All the stuff in here in the sub summary trailing, because there's a leading one and a trailing one, it has to do with where it is in relation to the body part. These only show once per invoice, whereas all this stuff in the body part gets repeated for every record. So in this case, we have three records. We'll get three body parts surrounded by one and one. Okay? So up here is the stuff we want to be at the top of the invoice, like the invoice number, you know, stuff we want once. The customer information, you know, our information, all that stuff is in there. And then at the bottom, we want the total, which is a summary field. We'll show that in a second. And then inside here, we want everything that we want repeated. Simple as that. Now, how do we get to this? How do we make this make sense? Well, let's go ahead and move this off here and hit this print button. And notice that because we're on here, we see everything once up here, once down here, the tolls here once, and then we get our three products here. And looks like that one doesn't have a quantity in it, so I should probably put one in there. If I go to a different invoice, hit print, and it's not actually printing, just going to preview mode, you'll see the four items are there. So how do we get to there? How do we get to that point? Well, it's a simple script. You'll see that we go to related record. We go to the join table so it finds all the records in that portal. We go to the print layout, which is the one I've been working on, this one over here, this in the lower right hand corner, and we show only the related records. We only want these four records to be showing when we get over there. Then we sort it because we have to sort in order for that sub summary to work. So guess what this is going to be? Well, we're going to see KF invoices ID. That's exactly the same thing we have over here. If you go into layout mode and look at part setup, in fact, we can just double click on this. In fact, we don't even need to double click. You can see it right there, KF invoice ID. So that sort has to go along with the sub summary so it organizes things correctly. If you don't sort it, let's go ahead and take this and uh, where is that option? Edit. I always do it with the keyboard command, so I have to find it every time. I'll save that. We'll kind of print this time. And notice that it's not working correctly because we haven't sorted, so it can't produce or just display those sub summaries properly. So you have to sort sub summaries by the field that they're broken by. And then once we do that, then we can enter preview to enter browse mode. And then once we, we were paused there, once we continue, we go back to the original out. Simple little print layout. And this is how you print things. And the reason you want to print them this way, not print, you don't want to print a portal, because a portal is not designed to be printed. I do it from time to time, but it's not designed to be printed, and here's why. It doesn't slide under all situations, and it doesn't page break gracefully. You're going to get much better results from printing this way. I know it doesn't seem, it seems, it is a lot easier actually to just grab the portal and, and put on a print layout or even just print this layout, but this is the proper way to do it, and you're going to get a lot more flexibility out of it this way. I highly recommend you learn how to use a join table how to learn how to print from a join table because it's going to really help you in your FileMaker career.